Okay, so this, this subject's about displacement. Um, you know those sort of questions that you get on paddy exams? How much air do you need to put into a lifting bag uh, to bring something to neutral buoyancy? Or how much water needs to be displaced? Those sorts of questions come under this heading, you know, dis displacement. But of course, mainly it's about buoyancy. I've already used those words until we bring something to neutral buoyancy. Well, as divers, we, we like to be neutrally buoyant, don't we? Um, and when we look around on the dive site, we see, we see large divers and small divers um, and they all do different things to get neutrally buoyant. The larger ones tend to be more buoyant and the skinnier ones, the thinner ones, they tend hardly to have any weight at all and yet they sink. So let's start off by talking about divers. Well actually let's start off about talking about me. Okay so for example me fully kitted up I'm roughly something like uh, 212 pounds. So let's see uh, 212 pounds. Now, if I was to jump in a freshwater lake with no air in my BCD or in my dry suit, clearly I would, I would start to sink. And then what I would normally do is put air into my BCD or into my dry suit. And as I did that, I'd be getting fatter, wouldn't I? I'd be getting bigger and pushing more water away from me and displacing more water. And I'd continue to do that until... I was neutrally buoyant. What's happened to make me neutrally buoyant? So let's say I was exactly 212 pounds. And let's also say that I displaced three cubic feet of fresh water. And by that I meant if I had a bath, it was full up to the brim. I jumped in, went underneath the water in the bath. The water that would spill out, if we mopped it all up, there would be three cubic feet of water. So I'm displacing three cubic feet of water, but of course, as I'm adding more, I'm displacing more air, I'll be displacing more water. But how much more water was displaced? So let's have a look at it a little bit more. So for us to answer that question, we need to realise it's a balancing act. OK, so let's say we've got a set of scales here. Me being 212 pounds on one end of the scale, on the other side of the scale to be balancing, I need to displace water that adds up to 212 pounds. So we need 212 pounds here, 212 pounds there. Then I'm neutrally buoyant. But how much water is 212 pounds? So we've got 212 pounds, that's me. But um, me... I displace three cubic feet, but how much water is 212 pounds? Well, fortunately, on all exams, Paddy give us, uh, they call it a constant, and they tell us um, a list of things, and here they'll tell us that one cubic foot of fresh water equals 62.4 pounds. So they kindly give us that information before we start. So all we really need to do is divide 212 pounds to find out how many cubic feet of water weighs that amount. And when we do that, we find that the answer is going to be something like 3.4 cubic feet. So that's great. So now we know that water we need 3.4 cubic feet. I've already displaced three cubic feet when I jumped in the bath. So really, the squeezing of my BCD and pushing that further out, the amount of water that that must have displaced, must have been the difference between three and 3.4, which is 0.4 cubic feet. Now, when it comes to paddy questions, this very example is like a pretty good one because it answers two different types of questions that you could get. So bearing all this in mind, let's just have a look at a couple of paddy questions just to see how this information could be used uh, in an exam paper. So if an object weighs 212 pounds and displaces three cubic feet of fresh water, how much more water needs to be displaced to get the object neutrally buoyant? Well, of course, the answer we know is 0.4 of a litre. We've already seen that. Um, and we worked it out by getting 212 divided by 62.4. That equals 3.97. I'll call it 3.4. The object already displaces three cubic feet. And so the answer is going to be 
0.4. But let's have another look at a different question. Very similar, but very common paddy question, this one. If a diver, I think they're talking about me, weighs 212 pounds and is neutrally buoyant in fresh water, how much water would that diver displace? And the answer is simply, as we know, 212 divided by 62.4 equals 3.397. Or we could call that 3.4. The nearest makes no difference. OK, so let's look at another type of question. This one's going to be in, in the sea. Seawater is a little bit heavier and we can see from the paddy constants that salt water equals one cubic foot of salt water equals 64 pounds. OK, so let's take another look at a different question. An anchor that weighs 500 pounds and displaces 4.8 cubic feet of water lies in 20 metres of salt water. How much air needs to be added to a lifting bag to bring the anchor to neutral buoyancy? Oh, <laughs> right. Well, let's take a look at some of the words in this question, shall we? OK, we know it's in the sea. That's fine. But look, it says it's in 20 metres of seawater. Now, this is a trap. Be careful. It doesn't matter at all what the depth what, what depth the anchor's in. It doesn't matter at all. Whatever depth it's in is irrelevant. The same amount of water will need to be displaced wherever it is. So take care of that. Just, just ignore that. And also, look a little bit further on. It doesn't ask how much more water needs to be displaced, like the other question asks. This one asks how much air needs to be added to a lifting bag. So please don't be confused. These amount to the very, very same thing. It's just another way that words can get juggled around in questions. So we can easily go about this question in just the same way as we did before. <clears throat> as we did before. The anchor would need a total of 500 divided by 64 equals 7.8 cubic feet. So that's one side of the scales. It already displaces 4.8. So the answer is three cubic feet. And to be honest, the answer of three cubic feet is the same, whether it's how much more water needs to be displaced, three cubic feet, or how much more air needs to be added. And that would be three cubic feet. So it's the same answer, regardless of the wording in the question. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. As usual, in the next section, there's loads of questions for you to practice this on before you get to the mock exams. But I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson.